The Lord be with you. I'm Pastor Luther, serving Incarnation and Shepherd of Life Lutheran Churches, and this is at the close of the day. Our reading for this evening comes to us from St. Paul's second letter to the Thessalonians, chapter 1, verse 12, and I'm reading from the CEV. Then, because of the undeserved grace of God and our Lord Jesus Christ, you will bring honor to the name of our Lord Jesus, and he will bring honor to you. This verse is one of those cart before the horse or horse before the cart kinds of things where we try to make sense of things. And it's difficult for us to wrap our arms around this because we come from a culture wherein individualism is more highly prized than anything else. That what we can achieve makes more sense and gives us more value than anything else. When in fact, we are called upon as believers in Jesus Christ to know that Everything that we have that is good in terms of our capacities and our abilities and everything else comes from God. So that which we do, that which we proclaim, already has its beginning in the grace of God. That which we accomplish is because of what we can do, all of which comes from the grace of God. So rest assured this night in the grace of God, brothers and sisters. Let's bow our heads now and pray the prayer that Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord look upon you with his favor and give each and every one of you his peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.